Heather's not here, but we got Annie Dillard. Hello. Who Hi, works everyone. here at the Record Lounge in Rio Town. Yes, and indeed. old guys like Snelly and Ted, we can relate to this equipment, you know, because when we were in our teens and early 20s, we got into this stuff, okay? <laughs> How did, well, what's the customer? I mean, what what draws that customer in here? Well, they're Annie? just trying to be like you guys. You yeah, know, they, they, saw... yeah, they want to be cool guys like Snelly and Teddy. <laughs> yeah, they and saw Tommy. The heyday. They saw, you know, the, the nostalgia from yes. the 80s, the, yes. the, the love of, you know, the psychedelic culture from the 60s and 70s. Sure. It all rolled up into one, you know. And yes. It, it, I think. The physical act of owning something, owning a piece of media, that's yeah. never going to go out of And an LP, how many, like, how many albums did you have? I remember Bill Dodger, a good friend, had like 100 albums. Did you, how many albums did you have growing up, Stanley? Oh, how many did I have? Yeah. Oh, I probably had 50. Yeah, 50, 50. Yeah, that's a lot, you know. We, I, to haul them around, you know, you got to get them loaded in your case, yeah. bring them to your friend's house. Yes. You know, that's a lot yeah. of manpower. That was Friday night, you know, <laughs> listening to records and ordering pizza, whatever. But So, um... We were talking earlier about, uh, like, my brother served in Vietnam. Right. And when he came back, everybody was, like, buying this serial equipment and shipping it back. Yeah. They're, you know, they're, and and you, you've had other customers do that, right? Oh, just a ton. I mean, whenever it comes to equipment, there is not a lot that's going to compare to the Japanese, the Korean stuff that was coming out in the 70s and 80s. Right. Some of that stuff, you know, we are very lucky to have people here in Lansing, part of our community that can work on it, can repair it, bring it back to our customers yeah. in pristine shape, ready to play. And so, you know, that stuff, we only got it from veterans coming back yeah. over, yeah. you know, going through, you know, all this great stuff that they shipped back. Right. We're, we're lucky to have it. We're lucky it's still working. Yeah, great. yeah, it's great. It's great. I, I had a Pioneer 838, you know, I still have 70 watts, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cranking up those Morant speakers. Snelly, do you have a, you had steer equipment, stuff like you that? No, I've got some high power steering equipment right now, yeah. thanks to uh, Mike Dyer. There's Mike some, Dyer. Some clips, speakers right oh, here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mike Dyer, man, the guy was, the guy was, the dude for you know selling speed, he made a made a living out of it, professional. Oh, oh yes, he did. Yeah, done, yeah. done well. Yeah, so yeah, I've got clip speakers, uh, definitive technology speakers. I've got a uh, Marantz, a Sony. Still have it. I just don't have a turntable. Which yeah, a got lot a of people are getting back that, into. That's what Ann was talking we about. Might have to get you into a pioneer. That, ooh, Pioneer, that was another name. Right. Teddy, you had all that. Come on, we you had, had all that stuff. You were I a privileged kid, but did. you worked hard earned it, My right? sister did, I used hers. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> better but, yet. But we had tons of records and all that. In fact, you know, it, the whole thing's gone full circle. It, it's amazing. You know, we got, and now right. all of a sudden, there's talk in our household of getting a turntable and, and getting the vinyl stuff. You know, it, it's, it's amazing. I, I walk in here, and it's like... I know. It's a blast from the past. I, I know. I feel like I'm... Yeah. yeah, Lionel Richie. Yeah, I love it. Dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> Some old uh, posters up there. Oh my. Sounds and diversions. Oh my God, Petula yeah, Clark. Yeah. Wow. This is this is. You can just go back in time, and is that what people do? Oh, absolutely. They just come here and just. Well, you know, Heather, you know, she's been a great friend of the community for many, many she years. Has. So they, they want to walk down memory lane with her. They want, you know, they want her to take her back to Warehouse Records. They want her. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God, Warehouse Records. You know, I heard, you, yes. you know, Warehouse. Oh, yeah, we went there. Okay, your location, ours, and then we'll like, get, get you back to your customers. We're right here in Rio Town. We're here from um, 11 until 6 on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, yeah. 11 to 5 on the weekdays. So just come oh. and see us. Okay, and I really appreciate it. Impromptu it's wise. Been, it's been a pleasure. You're Thank, like you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. And it's Gary always says support local. <laughs> All right. <laughs>